Hey, I'm Chris from Freshman Salon, back with another great tutorial video. First off, I want to thank everyone for commenting, liking, and subscribing to our channel. For this haircut, I'm going to be keeping the length on top and giving Alex a low taper to a number one guard. I'm going to start from the fringe and I'll work my way to the crown. When I get to the crown, I'm going to repeat this step in the middle and on the right side as well. In each section, you should have about six to seven cuts per row. The top should consist of three sections. Now, I'm slightly transitioning the top to the sides. I'm also cross-checking the top to make sure all the lengths are even. I'm going to run my fingers through my client's hair quickly, just to check the consistency. I'm now going to use my wall cordless magic clip with my number 4 guard closed. From my starting position, my clippers flush against my client's scalp. I will be gliding it into the top portion of his hair. This freehanding technique can be risky if not performed correctly, so blend with caution. I'm also using my comb to keep a consistent flow after every stroke. After finishing with this transition, I'm going to continue with my number 4 guard still closed. Now, I'm going to start my taper with my 1.5 guard open. For this step, I want to start by seeing a little bit of his scalp, making a subtle guideline to keep my fade low. Now, I'm going to cut most of his hair below my guide. With my number one guard closed, I will be transitioning my taper. This will be my lowest step, so I want to fade right down to his neckline. I will open my number one guard and make my transition into my previous step. I will also be transitioning some of his lines by opening and closing my number one guard, creating a smooth transition. Using number two guard, I will be transitioning my one and a half guard to my number four guard. For his outline, I'm gonna to touch up his sideburns a little, keeping them square, just to make sure no loose hairs will pop out. I will use my clipper over comb technique. This will enhance my client's lines a little more. For the nape lineup, I will start from the middle, keeping his hairline as natural as possible, cutting down with my trimmers. At the end of each line, I'm pulling away. 
I will also round out the corners slightly as well. I'm adding a little rusel to his hair for a great finish. A quick blow dry will help style his hair and keep it in place as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more tutorials to come. Stay fresh.